I'm sorry, I just want to breathe in because in moments like this, I smell the cheers of AVGN fanboys when a hit piece has come out about their Lord and Savior. And now millions upon millions of more people, oh, they're now in step with the slip-ups of James Rolfe. Um, by the way, the, the title is a complete lie here. I just want to get as many AVGN fanboys as possible because I'm known as the AVGN hater guy. Um, those of you who don't know, a YouTube content creator, creator by the name of H Bomber Guy. There's a couple of things I want to talk about in this video, but the main thing is the video that H Bomber Guy just made. Uh, he made a video entitled Plagiarism and You, and tube in parentheses next to it, or brackets next to it. Um, and it was chronicling the biggest, most egregious cases, at least that he discovered, of plagiarism on YouTube, or at least that have been yet to be discovered on YouTube. Um, sorry if my kids are doing romper room in the background, but unlike James, I managed to have time you know, to raise a family and still do things like make content. I still have time, even though I have a job. It must be nice to not have a job and not have time and have to have everything written and scripted for me because I don't have time. But anyway, <clears throat> anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the, the remaining AVGen fanboys as salty as possible here. So just just, just, just bear with me because please, I, I, I'm the one that gets called the jealous hater, that gets called off myself, that gets... Called B, I'll never be as creative or as intelligent <laughs> or any of number of things that James is to them. So excuse me if I kick as much dirt possible left on that fan base. Anyway, at least the fanboys. Anyway, um, H Bomber guy made a video about plagiarism in YouTube. And this is something that kind of got swept under the rug. It was kind of a big deal at the time. Uh, but James, and specifically Screenwave Media, the conglomerate of nincompoop oofus doofuses that write and script and basically hold his unit while he urinates in a toilet, um, and it does basically everything for James because James, as you don't, uh, if you don't know, is a father of multiple kids. And when that happens, you have no time to do anything in your life and everything has to be done for you. Um, but I digress. Um, you know, hey, some people just aren't capable in this world and need, you know, handheld guidance. And he's one of them. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so Screenwave Media did a number of Monster Madness review scripts for James and he read them off. Little did James know that, uh-oh, some of these scripts were taken verbatim from articles. Uh, that were already written about the certain movies, one of which was 28 Days Later, uh, which people discovered pretty much right away that, oh boy, this script is basically the exact review that this person had already given the movie. That's plagiarism. So anyways, H. Bomber Guy re-earthed, unearthed, re-up-earthed, whatever Bless you. Brought all this to light in a video that has now got just under 6 million views in three days. Ooh. Yikes. And on top of that, James Rolfe is in the thumbnail for the video too. Oh no. This was so long and forgotten and it's now brought out to a whole new universe of millions upon millions of viewers h bomber guys videos are so well thought out produced researched and what have you i'm gonna put his video in a pinned comment under here because any synopsis or any recapsulating of anything just doesn't do, do doesn't do this guy's content justice you have to see it for yourself anyways this video was over three and a half hours long. You might be saying like, oh, well, you know, maybe a lot of people didn't see the James Rolfe part, didn't see that whole part. So, you know, yeah, maybe AB Jen's not going to get any flack at all. You only got to make it 20 minutes into the video to see the James Rolfe part. Uh-oh, spaghetti toes. <laughs> Thank you, baby girl. Even she said, uh-oh. Um, yeah, this doesn't look good for James because... He is now, this is like when Boogie2988 had that video made by, oh my gosh, what is Jake Tom, Jake Tom, was that his name? Anyway, 
Boogie 298 year, years ago, Boogie 2988 years ago had a video made about him by his name is Tom. I'm, I'm, why am I forgetting the full name of the guy? Anyways, this guy named Tom made a video about him and it got millions of views, like north of 5 million. And this was a video bigger than anything that Boogie was creating at the time. When you get content created and you're featured in it and it's getting millions upon millions more views than your current content because it has been but a minute that you've seen like even an AVGN proper episode get north of 3 million views. You'd have to go back a couple years before you've seen something like that. Whereas back in the day, 10 plus million views for an AVGN video was commonplace. So now you got this guy, H Bomber guy, making a video where H where AVGN James Rolf's face is in the thumbnail. He's dressed in the in the content within 20 minutes of it, and then even a cursory glance through the comments, you see a number of people saying like, "Wow, I had no idea James Rolf was involved. I had no idea it was this egregious of an act of plagiarism." Like my 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 just image of him is blown. Just people saying, and I'm paraphrasing a lot of what people were saying, but again, like there's thousands upon thousands of comments, so you could probably find stuff more egregious than that if you look through the comments yourself. Yourself, I mean, I looked through for like a couple minutes and just looked for any time I saw James Roll for ABGN. Um, but yeah, there are so many people now that are getting the naughty news about James that he is just. At this point, more formally known as a plagiarist or being linked to a group that committed multiple acts of plagiarism for him to make content and money off of. <laughs> All those people that criticize guys like Chris Boars, me included that were fanboys, me included, of AVGN. Boy, do we look foolish now. Because, man, no association of plagiarism looks anywhere near egregious or well-known as what James Rolfe is associated with now. This H-Bomber guy's piece decimated the image of James Rolfe. Now, he's going to be fine. He's going to make content. He's got enough fans that are going to still support him and all that. I'm not saying like, oh, James got the close-up shop. But for a guy that really truthfully hates criticism and doesn't want to be seen as that bad guy, man, he is sticking around way too long and seeing himself become the villain as the old adage goes. Everyone, everyone and their mother has just said, James, just... Just retire. Just get rid of Screenwave. And, and people, I, I, I know people are going to be like, you, you can't criticize Jane for this. Screenwave is the ones that did all this. If you, if you are in James's shoes and you have an ounce of a spine, how do you not tell Screenwave Media to get the hell out of my orbit? What do you mean you plagiarized numerous things and scripts that I read to my fans? You're fired, all of you. It's either that or... Or James is so stupid that he signed a contract with these guys that give him complete and utter control of his rightful property that he can't get out of them. He can't get away from them. He can't breach contract. He can't say you're fired because guess what? We own you. You don't own us. So either James is either spineless or he's stupid. Pick which one of the two flavors of ice cream you have offered to you, AVGN fanboys. Right, sweetie? A big smiles and big steps. Yeah, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. My daughter smiles more than any baby in the world. I just want you guys to know that. And I'm not saying that just because it's a dad. Like Everyone's like, oh, my daughter, your son's so precious. Like, no, compared to my two boys, they didn't smile half as much as this girl does. Um, I would show you, but I don't put my kids on camera because, you know, <laughs> this ain't the shade tards. Anyway. Anyways, I, I, I'm just here to sit there in, in the face of all the fanboys that have called me jealous of James. <laughs> that I'll never be as appreciated as James. That I'm just a hater of James. Oh, oh, am I jealous that I'm not the guy who is now known to millions upon millions of people as being, oh, you're that plagiarist guy. You're the plagiarist guy that got that got outed in the H-Bomber guy's video. 
Oh, AB Jet fanboys, get back to me when someone makes a video that gets north of 6 million views <laughs> that is associating me to something like plagiarism. Get back to me, ring a bell, and I'll hear it and I'll come running to see it. Oh. Uh... Yeah, again, like, you know, I wouldn't even be wanting to make content like this if it wasn't for the years of, like, like, uh, like I don't want to say, like, abuse because, you know, when I'm making content, I fully know what I'm getting myself into. Like, I know, like, I don't make a video and go, like, I'm making this about ABGN and guess what? All his fanboys are going to agree with it. Like, no, I ain't stupid. I ain't James Rolfe. I'm not stupid. But here's the thing. Speaking of, like, stupidity and James Rolfe and whole Screenwave Media thing... Why did he ever need them to begin with? Now, I know his whole commonplace stance is that he has kids and, you know, if it wasn't for Screenwave Media, writing and producing and editing, all these things, you wouldn't get AVGN. You wouldn't get anything at all. But it's like, okay, well, why don't you just produce things at your own pace when you have time? I know, I know, I know that whole T word is foreign to him. I can speak to you from someone who has a job that... He's continually worked throughout any time that you've seen me here on YouTube. And I've somehow managed to find time to make content, even when I have kids. Now, granted, my content isn't exactly the level of an AVGN episode or something like that. But on top of finding time to make content, I still find time to watch football games, watch YouTube content like 10 to 20 hours a week. Like how do I magically get stuff like that done and, and have a, have kids and raise them and spend time with the family? Like the guy, his own words are his, his job is YouTube is making is, is being a content creator. How much time are you spending with the freaking family? Like, I, like, I'm not saying, like, wow, well, you have to sacrifice 20 hours a day to make content. But, man, if, if you can't find a couple hours out of your day for yourself, regardless of what it is, you're just not doing things right. I mean, uh, if you have 50 kids, then okay. I get it. Like, you just, I well, you know, if you have 50 kids, then you got other issues. But man, this guy just sounds like such a terrible manager of life. Like, my God, I couldn't imagine the extracurricular stuff I'd be getting done if I wasn't working a job. If I wasn't having to take eight hours out of, well, nine hours, almost nine and a half if you count commuting, to work each day that I work, that I've been doing for at the, at my current job, I've been there 15 years. Like, <laughs> And I've managed to like watch movies and do extracurricular stuff. Like, how did I do that? Anyways, uh, my whole point is like, I'm just, I, I, I'm so tired of hearing James. And again, this is speaking of someone that is more disappointed than anything else with James. Because again, I was that loyal fanboy. I was the guy making the irate gamer content, sh smacking him down, calling him the plagiarist. I was that guy. I was that guy with the fanboys attacking anyone that said anything bad about AVGN. And to see him get caught up with this Screenwave media stuff and be too much of a chicken s coward to leave them. Because you couldn't possibly be anyone else out there that could help you with the production ends of things. Like they're the only group out there that can assist you? You coward? Are you really the coward and Mike is the brave one? Because I'll tell you what, when Mike was behind the scenes with much more control, the quality of content was much better. I can at least give Mike that much credit. Anyways, it is just such an utter disappointment to see what AVGN has become. And now with this hit piece that... It, not really a hit piece, that's sensationalizing a phrasing, that's... that's it's unfair to call him his content that. Oh no, you dropped your princess castle on you. Oh no, you stuck a piece in that you can't get out. No, oh, well. I hate it when I stick things in. I can't get it out. You know what I mean, guys? Anyway, um, it's just it's just such a sad state of affairs to see what James Rolfe has become, and now he's got this ginormous video criticizing him out there 
that is going to be seen by so many more people than anything he has made in recent years. Like that is crazy. We have got, he has become basically the lovable guy that was untouchable to now. It's just like, why don't you just go away or go do your own thing? Because the company you keep is poisoning the well. And he's, again, he's too dumb to realize this and he's too much of a coward to go out on his own. Like, why can't he just make things where like he's sitting with his neighbor playing video games or that Godzilla review he just made? Like, he needs ScreenWave to stick around to do content like that? Would anyone criticize him if he had an AVGN episode once every four months? Like, if you're a real fan of his, would you care? Like, you need ScreenWave to be there so he can at least get one out once or twice a month at the at best? Like, jeez. This is, it, it, this is such, it just, a, it, it's just such an amazingly fascinating turn of just, I, I don't know what, if you want to call it, like an icon in the industry, for lack of a better term, but man. I just, I, I just, I, I can't believe the level of popularity and untouchability this guy had. So now, he's in video, he, he's in multi-million view, a uh, multi-million view video now of him being torn apart. And there's other people that have made videos about tearing him apart, the fall of AVGN, all that stuff. Like, that's your legacy. Your biggest, biggest known legacy right now is being a plagiarist. Like that's what hanging around and that's what uh, getting Screenwave Media on gotcha. Pathetic. Just utterly pathetic. As someone who was a huge fan of his, uh, this guy just turned out to be just an utter ball of patheticism. Anyway, um, AVGN fanboy tears. It's a shame. It's it's such a shame. It's it's what well, it's it's karma. Um, <laughs> that's the guy who you had to finance the movie of. And this is what this is what you get. <sighs> All those people saying you are right. Like oh my gosh, look at look at my <laughs> AVGN video and look at all the recent comments. My um, uh, uh, no longer a fan of AVGN video. Um, I, oh God, I even forget what it's called. Um, you bad AVGN fanboys. Um, anyways, um, all the recent comments on the video are like, wow, this guy was right all along. Just comment after comment after comment of people saying that. And then if you look at comments when that video was first posted, ooh, ho, ho, ho. oh, did those comments not age very well? Anyway, I'm just here. I'm just here. I'm just here to take one last laugh at the fanboys. One last. <laughs> <laughs> at the fanboys. Um, so anyways, in, in, enjoy your enjoy your boy and the screen wave media produced crap. Um, none of his none of his proper content right now is is decent. And and that that, that ain't me being a hater. That's just me being a realist right now because I still watch everything. He, I still watch every AVGN episode. I haven't missed a single one. Not a single one. I wish I could tell you that I, I gave up on his content. I'm, blah, blah, blah. I took my ball and went home. I'm not giving him any of my views or money. Like, no, I don't care about watching his content. I'm still interested to see what he makes. To say, like, man, maybe maybe something is going to wax nostalgia. No, it's, it's it's been crap for years. Utter crap for years. Anyway, I've given enough time to you guys. It's time to spend more time on my kids. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna to manage to have time with them today because I made content for you guys. And I didn't have anyone write a script for me. I didn't have anyone to produce this. But again, I know this this content is exactly well produced material. But <sighs> AVGN fanboys, please, please, please sound off and let me know what you thought of that H Bomber guy video. And if you didn't see it, um, it'll be in a pinned comment below. <sighs> Merry Christmas, everyone. I, I love December, man. I just, I just S-H-I-T, red and green all December, man. Oh, I love Christmas music. I love Christmas. Oh, Mickey Mouse up there. Bam. Oh, man. All sorts of decorations in this room. I wish I could show you guys the outside of my house, but I don't, you know, I'm not that guy. But anyway, 
Merry, Merry early Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy everything else. And <sighs> stop, stop plagiarizing, you idiots. That is all.